we were in in Scottsdale, uh, Arizona for like three months filming this movie. And it had such a family feeling to it. And Whitney was always singing. You just could not stop her from singing. If they say cut, she go. Ah, 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 ah. She was so funny. She said, what, what is Angela doing? Because Angela, a lot of times, would stay in character. And Angela was very proper. She would always into her sentences. Uh, you know, she would always enunciate whatever she was saying. And that used to tickle Whitney. And I got a chance to work with Whitney three times, and it was always great. Preacher's Wife, Waiting to Exhale, and when I was doing a show called Boston Public, she came in and did this incredible singing singing uh, job. Gregory was so wonderful in so many ways. When, when I did um, Waiting to Exhale, he was my leading man, and he was the only one that was smart enough to my first day of shooting. He had roses everywhere for me, and I always brag on him because nobody else did that. And I remember him telling me that, now, as soon as this move is over, you have to lose all the weight so you can move into the next category. I don't know what category that was, because I never did lose the weight like he, <laughs> like, like he talked about. But he was a, he was a true, I guess, I guess you could say brother. I had worked on Broadway with him, like my second Broadway show, Coming Up Town, and he was the, my leading man in that. And we'd always stayed friends and could make each other laugh easy. And I was just so glad that I had never did anything with him because I learned early that men don't like to work where they sleep, so hallelujah. So it was always a wonderful, uh, brother sister kind of thing. God, there were so many changes in my life because of waiting to exhale. All of a sudden, we were sort of like the most popular people around. I mean, people would grab you. I, I, I had never been so afraid <laughs> to go outside.